Well, welcome back as the Santa Barbara International Film Festival rolls on in its second week now, so does our Film Festival guest series. And I loved the film that we're going to talk about today. It's about a caring and conservation. Uh, it's about one of the world's dwindling species and a man named Stanny who survived genocide and de dedicated his life to chimpanzees. Here's a clip from Panthoot. I connect with chimpanzee very quickly. I can see very quickly more than other people. He's not against us. Oh. He's just wanting to do the butter trade. <laughs> he said, I give it to you and you give it to me. And joining us this morning is the director of Pantoot, Richard Reens. Good morning, sir. Thanks for joining us. I loved watching this last night. Uh, tell me a little bit about it if people uh, haven't been able to, to see the trailer yet. Well, first of all, thank you for having me, uh, and I'm glad you liked it. Uh, just as you said earlier, it's about a genocide survivor who overcame uh, incredible odds uh, just to live. And during that time, he had enough uh, love left in him to care for chimps and uh, learn how they speak and to help teach other people how they speak and what they're saying and what, what their life means. And this man's name is Stanny, and like you said, genocide survivor. He'd been through so much, and, and his love for these, these chimpanzees is, is unmatched. It's amazing. How did you get his story? How did you find out about him? Uh, well, the executive producers had met him 14 years prior. And they were telling me about him, and I was saying, well, I got to meet this guy. They said, okay, cool, let's do a movie. And I was like, all right. And next thing I know, I'm on a plane to South Africa, and we're with a caseload of, uh, a, a truck, truckload of equipment, and we went and shot at Stanny for five days. And, of course, you can't have a movie without Jane Goodall if you're uh, about chimpanzees. And that is so my next we, question. Jane, I mean, legendary and, and and so dedicated to to chimpanzees and conservation. I mean, just talking to her must have been a thrill. Uh, it was a thrill of a lifetime. I mean, it's like, you know, in, in, in this business, we talk to a lot of famous people and get to work with them. But Jane was, like, famous since I was a baby. <laughs> right. And I'd seen her on the cover of Nat Geo forever. And uh, so that it was a, a true thrill. Plus, you know, she's just an, a remarkable human being. And, it's great and, to and she calls like Stanny the, the chimpanzee whisperer. And, and I guess explain yeah. for people the name of the, of the short docu the documentary short is, is Pant Hoot. And that's, that's the, I guess, what they, the, how the champi ch chimpanzees communicate, right? It's more of a. Exactly. A, a dog, their a dog way. barks, a cat meows, a chimpanzee pant hoots. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, now it's you're you're originally, as I was reading a little bit about you, you you've made a lot of commercials, and that's kind of where you had cut your teeth, and, and you've been very successful. What was it like doing a documentary short? It was very different, but it was really fun. Fun thing about watching documentaries is you're learning something new, and that's exactly the same thing when you're making one. It's almost you're you're almost the audience as you're creating this. It's which is very different for me, who is used to storyboarding and uh, planning every single frame of footage. You don't know what you're going to get with a documentary. You make your plans, but you know it's a learning experience as you go, learning about the subject as well as about the uh, style. Yeah, it's really well done. And then being part of the festival, kind of tell me your thoughts on on being part of uh, Santa Barbara National Film Festival. So thrilled. I used to take my dog to the beaches there. <laughs> I lived in L.A. for 25 years, so just to go to a, the dog beaches was, was a thrill, and I had a lot of friends there. And if you all are watching, hi. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, it was, uh, I'm excited to be in the festival. It's such an important festival. It's, uh, you know, it's an Oscar qualifier. If you get in and you win the Oscar prize, then you move on to that. Mm. I mean, not for this year, obviously, because that's already been chosen. But it's a... Um, it's, it's just a huge honor and uh, what a great audience because it's an audience of, you know, filmmakers and film students and um, everything. Yeah, it, it's great. And Panhood, I can't encourage people enough to watch it. We have put a link up on our website to the trailer and also to be able to purchase tickets to the virtual 
Film Festival, which is where this is uh, can be seen throughout SBIFF. Richard, thanks so much, and uh, thanks for making Panhood. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for having me. Take right. care and enjoy the film.